cockpit voice recorder, CVR, records all the communications and sounds in the flight deck on a continuous tape that maintains the last two hours of recording. The CVR is controlled through the RCDR panel. The ground control push button allows the CVR to be manually powered when on the ground. With the ground control push button selected on to power the recorder on the ground, pressing the CVR erase push button for two seconds will erase the recording if the parking brake is on. The CVR test push button activates a test of the CVR. The Flight Data Recording System records many parameters and consists of the following components. Flight Data Interface and Management Unit, FDIMU, Digital Flight Data Recorder, DFDR, a 3-axis linear accelerometer, LA, DFDR push button. The FDIMU collects and processes parameters from the SDACs, DMCs, FWCs, FCDCs, BSCU, the DFDR event push button, the ground control push button, and the clock. It then stores the mandatory flight parameters in the DFDR. The DFDR can store at least the last 25 hours of operating data. The DFDR stores this data in a fireproof and shockproof container with an underwater locator beacon. The DFDR push button is pressed to set an event mark on the flight data records. The linear accelerometer measures the acceleration of the aircraft along each of the three axes. The QAR stores the same data as the DFDR, but the QAR is more accessible for the maintenance crew. The recording system is automatically active any time the aircraft is in flight and the unit is electrically powered. On the ground, the recording system is controlled by a spring-loaded ground control push button. In auto, the recording system is automatically active for the first five minutes after the aircraft is powered and then again continuously after the first engine start. The recording system stops automatically five minutes after the second engine shutdown. In the on mode, the ground control push button manually starts the recording system on the ground. The system switches to the auto mode at the first engine start or if an electrical transient occurs.